was digging. Look at all the metal in the ground. I get that out. There's shit. I found a glowing marble in here. Some real cool toys. I'll look all feet. Try to follow this rust layer. I find these things all over these dumps. These old gas fixtures. Look at that. And that ornate pipe and the ornate. I'd say that's what that is. That's crazy. Digging. Th these hills are confusing. And I got so many things opened up. That holes. I couldn't figure out where I was at. I was up in there. I was right in here is where I was digging. And look what I raked out. It's some kind of little... It says stuff on the bottom of it. We're going to see what this is. But look at the cap. There's nothing in it. It's got like uh, two ladies on it. And that's real like. And it almost looks like the plastic will glue. Says something. We'll see what this is. Well this little container here. It does fluoresce a little bit this. But it says. Craft. Hobby craft on it. It, it was paint or like play-doh or something i'd say it was craft paint that's a really nice crock lid that's an old one i found salt glaze crocks in this like 1940 to 50 trash before late throwaways i'm gonna take that it's got a little chippage to it but that can be filed down and these are hard to find well i don't know what that is but it looks pretty cool it's a charm, look. What the heck is that? It's like some little dude with a cap on. Look. Yeah, look at this trinket. Does anybody remember these? It probably fit onto other pieces and you could snap other pieces, see legs or something on it. What the heck? Does anybody remember what these are? Later. Well, I seen my first marble, and there'll probably be tons of cat eyes in here. I found a glowing cat eye in my last one. I see another cat eye there, and I'll put a couple videos up at the end. Right up there, just straight up there about 25 yards, I found a horde of cat eye marbles. Dug a whole frame of them. I'll watch that. But here it looks like another one right there. Yep, probably most likely a marble king. Look, real nice condition it looks like. So here's the first one. Hopefully we can find some swirls. Um, but look at this. This old... It's some kind of dandruff shampoo. Oh, it's going to be good. And look at how cool the AC got. Dandruff something. Sulfo. Dandrug. Man, hopefully this is... Yeah. I think I'm going to be able to save it. That's really nice dandruff itchy scalp very cool with the cap you know look at this old stoneware bowl had a turquoise inside would have had a wire handle on it uh might even have been like a hanging flower pot made of that it's probably what it was crap there's older stuff in here too because i'm at the base of this hill look at this it's a shame that's break this is all embossed it's a paneled cobalt blue bottle with damage baltimore I'll take it and shake. Sharp and D O H M E. Baltimore. Sharp and D O H M E. Well, you can see this bottle's awesome. Sharp and D O H M. Baltimore. Probably some kind of chemist or something. It's chipped right there, but see how it, it's got that bulbous line around there? I can cut it right there. And it'll still look nice and I can put it in the cosmetics frame. Too bad that's broke. Maybe I'll find one eventually. But if you collect cobalt blue bottles, that's a nice one to look up. That's a beautiful little bottle. Got another one here. It might be a blue cat. I see it right there. Just how I saw it. Another four vein. Maybe this one will glow too. I don't know. The last one just was awesome. I'm still in this rust layer. Hey, there's a... Blue bottle, that's a, uh, maybe a Dr. Pepper. But look at this scalloped edge plate here. It looks bowl or dish. wonder what the heck this is. It's looking like it's all marked. Yep, Japan, look. wonder if this, I bet you it all it has. 
floral design. We'll clean this up. This looks pretty nice. Well, this plate's all perfect. We don't have to shake it in, rust away. It'll all come clean. And I found this piece in there too. Look, it's like the same pattern almost. I'd say that the whole set of it's in there. I'll just end up cutting that clip, but there's all kinds of this stuff in there. Yeah, look at that little toy ladder. It's real hard plastic. That's cool. I'm in a good spot now. I'm finding stuff. Well, another blue cat eye, I think, right here. And I, that, see, this one's different. This one's a vetro, but look, it's got other color on the tips, like green. That's actually pretty nice. Now, look here. I found this exact one before. I think it's cosmetic. I don't think this would be for cigarettes. I'll get it open at the house. I can only get it open here with one hand, probably, yep. Oh, no way, folks. There's a pen in it. No way. And look, I found that exact one before. It's in my cosmetics case. What is that? What's that? It's just some kind of tab. No way. Got this exact bird, folks. It's just, you know, costume jewelry. But, my goodness, I'm gonna... Well, right there's the bird. And you see a set's missing out of the eye. Right here's another one of the same... I found on the same dump in a different area. It's a woman's pen, different color. Now I have a set for one of them. I'll pro I like this one better. I'll maybe put this set up there and have a complete one. But they're both... I'll probably find another one. They're both going to go in here. i got to incorporate this one in here too. So, since I have two of them. Very cool. Now there. Get the glare off that. But you can see I put it right in there. It's getting late in the day. Um, I had to take a nap today when I got him. I was whipped. So it's... Looking good. I just added this perfume bottle in there. And now this. Later. I've been right here right around two hours. And the, all the marbles have come within the last, like, all the cat eyes and stuff here last 20 minutes. And right here's another one. And I missed one back in here and couldn't find it. So it's still wet. But see that layer right there? There's marbles on it. So this looks like maybe a green cat eye. Yeah. Let's see. Might fluoresce. I don't know. Maybe we'll get a fluorescing one. Looks pretty good. Oops. I'm back. I had to take a nap when I got home. I was too tired from digging. And look here. Running wild. Look here. What a dandy. Well, I'll go back up there. I'm hoping to... What I'm doing is really trying to get on some nice marbles, so... Hopefully. What are you doing? Man? You gonna make some squirrel noises? All right, folks. There's squirrel noises for the day. I'll see you. This is the next day. Um, I'm just gonna add more clips to this video. So I'll get back. I'm going down here and rake where I've been raking around. See if I can't find some marbles. Well, it's the next day. About 10 o'clock in the morning. It's real nice. Here's another fawn. Lucky here from a fawn shelf. I found these before. What's that say? Minor Industry Incorporated. It's for a doll baby. Magic Nurser look. See? That's kind of cool. It'll all clean up. Well, look at how the preservation. I'm down here at the bottom of this hill in Ross Layers. This has the cap on it. Look at this. It says B-A-K-E-R Senior, I think, or Baker Ready, maybe? Not to be refilled. And look, and it's got measurement lines. Wonder what that's for. And I wonder what this is. This was laying like this, and I thought it was a mask, but it's some kind of light-up face. And it almost looks like somebody's made it. It's like rubber. But that's cool. 
it looks real creepy it can be imagine this with like new light bulbs in it this will this is awesome you could just put right fine light bulbs like colored ones i'm gonna make something out of this i think somebody might have made it i don't know but that's creepy that you, this is the kind of stuff you can fix up a little bit I could put like a piece of copper up here to hang it on and make a light you could plug in to hang out for Halloween. That's worth a little. See, I'm hitting that rust layer again and there's a little bit of older stuff in it. See, I'll have to take that lid. It's perfect. But you see, there's the old wire even on that mason. It's too bad that's broke. That would have been a cool find to have it all complete. I'll have to take the wheels off this. The back two are nice. And look, that one's put on, that's fallen off in the past. And whoever had it put it back on the opposite way. I wonder if the rest of this is in there. wonder what that is, a Jeep. See, the seat has damage. Huh. Well, I'm in business now, I think. I haven't been here long. Got that truck, that Jeep thing, that white one in the last clip with the wheels I said I was going to take. And just, I don't know, a couple minutes later, there's a marble. Let's see. Oh, it's it's real nice. It's a hybrid. It's like orange and red. It looks like fire. It's going to look great. And look at that. Well, I ended up finding, I think, three marbles in there in this second trip. But this is the nicest one. This hybrid orange and kind of red cat eye. I really like that. It's nice. Make the frame. Early. I'm not entirely sure, but I raked this right up out of the rust, and it might be a pig. I don't know what it is, but what is this? Oh, it's heavy, too. What? I thought it was a pig. What is that? It's like an old blender, I think. Mixer. I thought it was a pig bank. Look! What's that have on it? Oh, I mean, it's real heavy. That's almost worth taking. Just because it's such a weird 50s like contraption. Heck, it almost looks like the top of a trolling motor, don't it? But I'd say, I'd say it's a mixer. See, it's real heavy. This weighs 12 pounds. See, it's got a little switch right there. wonder if that's a mixer. You know what I mean? I'd say that's what it is. Yeah, look at that. That's Mark too. Too bad that's break. Betson hand painted. Hmm, that's pretty cool. I find, man, this is beautiful. I saw it sticking out right there like this. What do you think that is? Man, this is nice. I'll put it in a metal science case right in the middle with buttons. Look at this old clock face. It's like got gold gilding on it, and that is old. These rust layers. I'll show you the rust layer. See the big pieces of metal in there? That looks like a sink or something. I don't know what it is. But all around it, usually the stuff's preserved. And that's nice. Well, I told you that was beautiful. That's off a pretty old clock. Um, wow. That's pretty nice. Look at the patina on the back. That's going to go in one of my Fonz cases and it's going to be a centerpiece. I'll get some Riker mounts. I probably got enough to put a metal Fonz case together to be out of this world. I got a bunch of stuff like this. This is awesome. So if I get all the big junk stuff off and see that powdered rust layer, that's what that clock face came out of. See, there's even, that's window screen. And it's still, and look there, there's a lot of fun, man. Look at this. That's a ceramic handle off an old brush or kitchen utensil probably something for the table look at that perfect condition that can be repurposed that's nice i thought i saw a marble and i think that's one right there what's this i think it's just a solid color one it is but it's nice not bad Let's see if i can't get some more definitely getting towards the main concentration of them and right up there is where i found the horde of cat eye marbles. I'll put these videos up at the end. No wonder I'm finding them all the way down the hill. Here's another one. That's definitely a marble king. Yeah, well, that's an old advertising ice scraper for a car, and it says Marple and Waters, Ohio. 
Main and Church Street, Woodsfield, Ohio. I think that's a funeral home, Waters, W-A-T-T-E-R-S. That's probably what that is, an old advertising piece. Go on this. I have probably enough for a video now. Not on the marble. I want to be finding swirls. They're here someplace, but look here. Feels pretty heavy. I wonder if that's silver. It's some kind of baby spoon. Might have a kid's name on it. What is this? Oh, it might be a souvenir spoon. And I think that's Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. It's a kid's spoon, but it's way better than I thought. This is better. Oh man, it's Rudolph. This is awesome. And it might just be stainless steel, which is even better. It'll look mint can do. Oh, folks, I'm in business. This is the kind of stuff I'm looking for for the videos on YouTube. Right here, I'm going. Well, you can see I'm just cleaning this up. I'll soak it in some cleaner now. That's a nice kid spoon from probably the 50s. Wow, that is a really nice find. Please look around. See, there's a nice blue bottle right there with a real long neck on it. See, it all I could get that too. But this fell out. I was up here looking around, fell right out of the wall. That's a pretty nice Sistersville ACL, and these ones must be painted twice or something because almost all of them are good. I'll give this one away. I have uh, six or seven of them at my house. That's a nice bottle. It'll look brand new. It's got the Sistersville Coke factory on it there, right there. Cool. Well, I really like that Rudolph sp spoon the best, but I mean, the little bulbs like for a night light will fit right in that. I'm gonna put like, I don't know, red eyes and a white mouth bulb and put that right outside my door on my house. That's so cool, I like this too. That's such a unique thing, it's rubber. Look here, I'm back home. This is just where Squirrel Man climbed up there. He's sniffing the air for other squirrels. Look at him. You sniffing the air, buddy. Well, I'm in a pretty good spot there. That clock face was awesome. Even that one marble was nice. I want to be on the swirls, but they're going to be in there. There's some cool stuff there, and I can't wait to get back. I'll keep going there and looking around. I'm going to go deeper tomorrow down in that rust seam and see if there's older marbles and maybe a chance for a crop or something. I think Squirrel Man wanted some pets. He wanted some ear rubs, buddy. He's such a nice little guy. We're going to go in and get him some blueberries and he's probably going to take a nap. He's been out here running for a while. Squirrel dog. It's my good boy right here. Look at this, folks. Look at this little guy. We'll see you on the next one.